okay so let's take a look at how you can install couchdb on windows so when you go to couchdb.apache.org you will find downloads link so it should take you to the this particular option for windows so when you click on it it should take you to neighborhood software repository for windows so they do have one of the version which is 3.2.0 as of now and when you download that it should show you install or something like this click on that and it may ask you for running this particular wizard so click next then go through the license considering this is apache license so you can go through that accept the license click next now next thing is where you wish to install apache couch db so let's say it says e program files apache couch db you can change this to let's say some other directory right so next thing click on next now next thing is to get your account username and password validate and then click next make sure to click install it will ask you for user access control dialog box and then it should proceed with installation okay at the end it should show you that apache couch db is installed click on finish right now next thing we'll go to browser and then type in 127.0.0 then 1 right and then 5984 right and then slash then underscore utils then you have to use hash setup to set up your node and as you can see it will show you couch db futon right make sure to add your username and password right and then click login and it says you have been logged in right now here let's take a look at the interface you can extend this to read what it says so on first tab you have this database where you have access to create database uh, then view the JSON and also documentation and notification then you have setup where you can configure your current CouchDB instance as a cluster or node then you have access to active tasks right similarly you have configuration options here then you have replications news documentation then there is also verify so you can verify the installation and then finally you have option to change your password create another server admin so if you go to verify installation we can check if it creates a test database document update document delete document and other operations so let's go with verify installation and as you can see it has validated that now next is if we go to setup to set this up as a single node you can click on that here you can see your admin username password then address the node will listen to and then port and then you can click on configure node that should pretty much set you up for couchdb database on windows okay now that we have installed couchdb and also logged into futon here you see we have this tab called database now currently we don't have any database to create one you will have to click on this create database let's name this dev demo by default the partition is disabled we'll have to manually check it so it asks you for that option and basically if you don't know what it is it is better to update it unchecked then click on create and here you see database is now created after you create the database you will notice that it has no documents so it says no documents found and on left hand side you have options like choosing all documents run a query with mango permissions 
changes design documents now here what we're going to do is we are going to create a new document by pressing this create document button and here you can see um, it allows you to add the JSON code right right so here what we will do is we will create one field name this transaction set it a number 1001 then we will add uh, let's say item right and let's make that item something like some sort of a catalog of a store so let's make it a notebook right and if it's the last item you don't have to add comma after that but if it's not then add the comma and then add one more field right and set it price let's see 100 right now I want to save this document right and I can keep on creating new items simply let me copy this and now let's press create document and here you see uh, it can be viewed in table format currently it shows metadata as ID key value right similarly it has JSON format that shows our document that has these three important fields that we want within document then there is also table right here you see it is identified by underscore ID then there is item price and transaction right so if we create one more new document let's add comma let's paste this transaction to notebook we can replace this with let's say paper keep it price of 10 right now let's create one more document and now we have two documents and as you can see transaction ID is listed here price then item and this unique underscore ID as well let's add one more so right so here we add number three then we add this price of 20 click on create document and as you can see it has transaction price let's add one more and then here transaction number four and another item with price right so let's create document again and we have now four document with different prices transaction numbers and items along with unique ID for each of that document right so when we go back to dashboard you will notice that we have our new database demo it has four documents no partition and there are also set of actions that we can take so if you want to go back to editing one of the documents we just click on this database name then we want to check particular entry click on that and then we can edit these changes and then save changes right so this is how we create document in couch okay, now we have created a database we also created documents what if I want to change something from the document from foot on interface so let's go to database and here you see one of the four entries or you can see documents within that database so let's say instead of pen I want to change this to some other item right so to do that let's say it's admit paper I made the change now let's also made change to price 40 now let's save the changes here you see our document is edited right so in order to edit the document go to database then choose one of the four documents that you wish to edit here in this case let's say handmade paper pencil and then choose the field you wish to edit and then save the changes okay now we create a database we created document we also updated the document so what if we want to delete the document so in this case what we'll do is we'll go to database then check the document and then let's say 
in Futon interface you just have to click the document and once you select that you have this option here let's say delete all selected and here see are you sure you want to delete this talk click OK and that will delete your document okay now we will take a look at how you can create a new view within your CouchDB database document so go to your database and then here you see there is an option for design documents simply go there and click on this plus icon then click new view now by default you will see it says new document right so here we have to name the document new design doc right then we will keep the index name as is and also the map function if you want to output let's say this document id and then um, there is reduce option so we will currently not take a look at that for now simply create a document and then build an index so the index will be built around this underscore id which is in our documents within database so there will be three total documents that will be listed within this design document so let's create that and here you see the key and the value if you click on that it should take you to that individual document right and here you see if we check the view it shows new view you can also rename this right similarly uh, within design document it sees new design doc and shows metadata right so it will have index information like language javascript updated no and few other details right it also shows md5 signature which you can check and copy to clipboard right so this is how basically you build a view within your design documents tab now we will also take a look at mango query from CouchDB's database section so when we click on our database here you see run a query with mango so basically when you want to run a query to output certain uh, document items so let's see currently it outputs by default our entire database right so here you will have to choose the selector item and then output selective items so by default when we say just item it should output everything within database so here you will have to write the query in such way that you want to out output the particular set of items within the database so simply click on run query and it should show you the result let's take a look at how you can create admin user in project foxton of couchdb so let's say when we go to our 127.0.0.1.5984 utils which is foxton is interface mm -hmm. so here you see on left hand side you have your account section now here by default it allows me the access to the first user that was created so I get to change that password but what if I want to create another user so to do that I can click on this create server admin now here let's add my name and also password and then click on create admin so couchdb admin created right so if we go to this section here you see nobody is listed however if I let's say log out oh, from this interface I can use my new username and password login and here you see it gives me access right so this is second admin that is created with the help of project Foxton in CouchDB so now that we have seen how to work with CouchDB and Futon so next thing we will do is we will also see one more way to work with CouchDB and that is using curl so make sure that you open your command prompt or powershell or your terminal and make sure to check whether you have curl if not make sure to install it uh, as you can see here 
I already have it so what I will do is I will first write in curl then let's say HTTP then 127.0.01 and then our couch TV port final 84 and then forward slash if I hit enter it should return me with the couch TV database related details right now that we want to access all the databases what I can do is I can use curl then dash X then get and then uh, there is one more way to access your couch TV that is using your username password right and then calling for your IP so this is the thing that you will need to do while doing CRUD operations right so let me copy this particular line right now here you will have to use underscore all underscore dbs if I hit enter uh, as you can see it has okay so here I made a mistake I have to make sure to use dash x right and hit enter and here you see it showed me the one available database within CouchDB so if you go to Futon you can see this is the database now let's clear this what if we want to create a database so to do that we'll have to make few changes right instead of get we will have to use put query then our authentication remains the same right and here let's go with mydb as database right so here as you can see i have simply used database name at the end and now it says okay true we can verify this by going to futon refresh this and here you see we have our database now next thing right now to delete the database what i will do is i will use dash x then delete and then http then let's say our username and then password right then at the rate 127.0.0 dot zero dot zero one five nine eight four and then my db right so that you delete our database okay and it says true if i refresh this it will be not visible within futon so we have seen how to use curl interface to also access our database and also delete it